So we are at the booth here of Rapid Liquid Print. I'm sure you guys saw the videos around the internet where there's a needle and some kind of gel just printing stuff mid-air. Already cool. And we found them. So it's your company, right? You're it the CEO. I am the CEO. I am myself and Bjorn and it's four co-founders in the company. Okay, awesome. So the first question I want to ask you because I was always curious about what is that gel? Sure, absolutely. So the process is we're printing inside of a water-based gel suspension. Mm -hmm. So it's water that has been um, reformulated to feel like gel. I always tell people it's like hand sanitizer feel. Um, okay. And that's what allows us to print inside of it without gravity affecting it. Hence why we call it gravity-free manufacturing. Ah, that's awesome. Okay, so it's basically just a normal hydro gel because for me it always looked like hair gel. Hair gel, yeah. It's not hair gel. You could. Put it on your skin, but it's okay. uh, probably not going to do what you want. <laughs> and the material you use, your colleague already explained it, is like a vulcanizing silicon-based material, right? Correct. So it's a two-part platinum cure silicone. So you need part A and part B to mix together yeah. so they can chemically start to react and start to move from a liquid to a more solid. Okay, and because you're suspending in the mid-air, you don't have to cure fast like an FDM print. Correct. Right? Yeah, you don't have to like wait for one layer to cure in order to put the other one. We actually want it to be uncure as long as possible so that it actually blends into each other and become isotropic. Okay, yeah, since I myself, I'm from medical 3D printing and I already saw your awesome vascular models. Yeah. What are the industry that you you deliver the most? Perfect, it's great to hear. We started in medical because our material is skin safe mm -hmm. um, and it's great for on the body application. Yeah. So we, we explored for orthotics, prosthetics, we're doing vascular models now. And then the next biggest market right now that we're interested in working in is gasket and seals. So gasket and seals are used for medical, automotive, aerospace, etc. So it's a larger market that we can target now. Okay, and what about like, do you ever plan to miniaturize it? I'm thinking about <laughs> like silicon stands because we print, uh, we 3D print implants and stuff that goes inside of the body yeah. on bioprinting. Yeah. And something like that would of course be a huge advancement in medical 3D printing. Yeah, absolutely. If you know people, we'd love to talk to them. But you know, <laughs> our, 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 um, our approach so far has been Let's find the customers, have conversation with them, understand what are the needs, specification that we need to meet in order to support that. Um, I know one of the things that we're hearing is about like having a different type of silicone in order to actually print for internal applications. So that, that involves a lot more finances and development in order to do that. Mm -hmm. So we would love to partner with the company that is within that space mm -hmm. in order for us to collaborate together and actually develop something for internal application for you know surgeries in the future where um, doctor's hospital can practice ahead of time mm -hmm. before going to a person's body. Oh yeah, that's awesome. That's a good idea. Yeah. Um, the one thing I have to ask because my subscribers will kill me if I don't, is there ever meant to come out a version that is maker yeah that's price yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> that's a plan in the future you know as any company as you can imagine we're we started by doing a larger format printer because we're targeting in-use application right mm -hmm. um, we want to showcase the fact that our technology can go beyond prototyping yep. which is something that we always advertise with an additive manufacturing so we're doing it in real life, we're using industry standard materials for that purpose. So that's why we're targeting this larger format that gives the customer opportunity to print the parts that they need at faster rate, but actually have application they can sell and make money off of. Yeah. And then we understand and are hearing people saying, hey, when can the makers and the fans actually have a format that they can purchase? We're adding it to our list, but we can't say when that's going to happen yet. But if yeah. there's a high demand for it, we oh, will I'm, develop it. I'm sure if, if you could press a small machine like that below five digits, yep. you'd sell them like nothing. Absolutely. <laughs> and, and that's the beauty of the, the, the machine itself. It's easily reconfigurable, so we can go large, we can go small as needed. But it's going to require, obviously, the market need and also the ability to kind of put the R&D in it to make it happen. Of course. I saw your awesome like surface finish. Is that any way treated or is that how it comes out of the printer? I appreciate you asking that question. No, it is taken out of the gel okay. and there's just washing it off with water okay. and that's it. There's no post-processing involved beyond that. That's really cool. I mean, you can't imagine how that feels. It's like nothing like a 3D print or a TPU or a PIVA or whatever. Yeah. It's, it just feels like, like silicone, very soft. And uh, does it have the same that uh, the, the same mechanical properties that uh, like properly thermic vulcanized silicon would have? Or is it somewhere like... No, it's the same property. So the way we do is we start by buying off the shelf raw material, so raw silicone. We do not create our own silicone. Um, we're not creating like a resin base or anything like that. We're buying 
a platinum pure silicone from suppliers that make silicone and that's their business. Yeah. And then we're just changing how it flows within the process, which okay. is why it doesn't change property after printing. Yep. The same durometers and hardness that you print, mm -hmm. you get over time and it's the same performance and specs. And I heard you're already certified for every skin contact. Correct. Are you already looking into like uh, 3D printed clothing or art <laughs> in any form? We are getting collaborations and requests in that field. Um, as you can imagine, we, we've dabbled in fashion with our partnership with Comperni and Disney. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. yeah, so that was kind of a first collaboration in that space and we're getting requests now because of that. But we assess every request and see what's possible. We don't try to oversell anything. If it makes sense for our technology, we're happy to develop. Whether that's fashion, medical, automotive, we're open to a lot of suggestions and opportunities there. Cool. When you funded a company, what was your vision where you go and are you there or did you end up somewhere completely different? Um, when we started the company, myself, Bjorn, Skyler and Jared, um, we just wanted to create something where we are imagining what the future of manufacturing looks like. Mm -hmm. And I think we're doing a pretty good job today. So oh, yeah. <laughs> I think we're we're doing what we expected it to do. Yeah. Um, it's just the work ethic to get there is obviously taking longer than we expected, but to see the excitement here at Formnax and the people coming here and, and being excited about the opportunity, I would say we're, we're on the right track. Absolutely. And when it comes to the most futuristic looking 3D printing <laughs> technique, I think you take home the award for that one. Yeah, sure. hopefully it's not just look, it's about performance and obviously end yeah. product quality as well. You can now put a deposit on the machine, go to our website directly to get it. Um, and looking forward to collaborating with customers. So, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. One more shout out. Um, good shout out to the Haitian team for making the World Cup. So, looking forward to supporting you guys next year. Cool. <laughs>